But Jim Tuttleball here, and today we're going to be starting a mini-series on this channel. Uh, basically, they're going to be similar to the 20 turn guides, except just much shorter. Rather than going to a rigid 20 turns, it's just going to be an early game start with a difficult start position faction. So in this example here, Marathi. Marathi is often considered one of the most difficult start positions on legendary difficulty, which if we show the difficulties, it's on legendary with very hard battle difficulty. Uh, it's considered one of the most difficult start positions because uh, she just has so many enemies right away. And usually what ends up happening is people just don't get their shit together quickly and then get dogpiled by the High Elves. They're really Marathi's first target. It's kind of the opposite of what happens if you play High Elves, where Marathi usually invades. Um, so what we're going to do here is just have a really strong and reliable first few turns. And what I mean by reliable is that you should be able to copy my exact steps and get a very similar result. And what this will do is help you in the, you know, the subsequent 10-15 turns. Because if you get a really strong or stronger, you know, five turns, where you captured one extra territory or got one extra battle in or something like that, that'll help you further down the track when things get a little bit more difficult. You'll have a bit more resources to deal with. So I'm sort of aiming for this one to be about about 10 turns here. So the first thing that we want to do in this particular campaign, if we want to have a strong campaign, is check diplomacy. You want to go to Clark Ron and make sure they're not... Um, they don't have the negative trait against uh, Druki. Uh, which one's that called? Oh, we don't have it on any of these. But uh, yeah, she doesn't have it. It's like rightly suspicious or something. Um, if you've got that, it doesn't matter that much, but you can just start the campaign again. And because it's basically a 50 50 chance if they get that trait. And what that'll do is when we give this person gifts. Um, it'll only be worth 10 instead of 20. So right now, when I give them a gift, it'll be worth 20 relation. So what we want to do to begin with is go to the Shadow Gore Warhood and immediately take 2,000 gold from them. This will happen 100% of the time. This never changes. You don't ever, ever need to restart the campaign for this one. Okay. Immediately get 2,000 gold. You might be able to get more gold from them later down the track. It largely just depends if you can keep their relation up, which I wouldn't bother trying to, because uh, chances are they'll declare war on some Dark Elves, or they'll just straight up hate you, or they'll straight up die, in which case, don't worry about it. You're not going to be able to get money out of them every, like, five turns. Um, it's at, at least ten turns before you can ask it again. And with the money that we gained from them, I want to give it to Clark Ron, hence why we didn't want them to have that bad trait. So instead of getting 50 relations from this, we're going to get 100. Gladly. Again, it doesn't really matter if they do get it, if you're really averse to starting campaign again, just because you didn't get the right train on this. But just keep in mind that if you don't get it, there's a higher chance of something that I want to have happen not happening. Basically, I want to get a military alliance with this faction. Not because I care about this faction, but because a military alliance here will allow us to meet Nagarond really early allowing us to begin relations with them, start trade, start getting them to declare war on High Elves, which is really useful. If we can get a defensive alliance with Nagarond, it will really help deter other High Elves from declaring war on us. And if they do it, well, then we can drag Malekith down this way, so it'll be very useful, and also get a confederation with him. And it only cost us... Well, it was essentially free, because all the money I got from it was from the Shadow Gore Warherd. Okay. Now, the next thing that we want to do is a really aggressive push against Sildra Tor. So we want to go into Force March and go all the way down to here, uh, down to about there. Now, the exact position where you stand along this line here um, will determine what kind of map you have on the battle map. Because what we want to have happen here is for them to come out and attack us over the end turn. That's really important because what that means is if they do that, we're only dealing with, I don't know, like seven, eight units. Um, instead of attacking one of these settlements here when they've got, you know, double that essentially. Now, you can attach this guy into the army if you want, but there's a 50 50 chance that they won't attack you over the end turn. So I'm going to go for the most reliable um, strat here and do this, not attach it into the army this turn, so that we guarantee that they will attack us. Okay, now in terms of construction here, we want to pop that up because I want to get Masters and Dark Shards with shields. And then the last thing to do is to go to the Heralds of Ariel and drop down a non-aggression pact. Okay, that'll buy time before they declare war on us. It'll probably happen, but yeah, that just buys us a bit of time. Okay, you can get a 
non-aggression pack with Hexavital as well. Um, not this turn, but next turn. Um, but I don't really advise doing that. I'll, I'll discuss that next turn. Okay, so over this turn here... Okay, let's pop this down. Over this turn here, 100% chance we will get attacked on Force March, but it's not a difficult battle. However, we need to do a very good job on that battle. We can't just lose 90% of our force, or else it'll basically ruin the plan. So you need to do a good job of the battle, which means no order resolving. Eight units, right. So you can order resolve it and win, but I forbid you to do that. If you're going to follow this guide and you order resolve it, turn off this guide because it's not going to help you, okay? You have to fight this battle manually because you need to get a... a doesn't have to be a decisive victory. It has to be at least a close victory. Because close and decisive victory actually provide the same amount of experience. In fact, the only faction that having a close victory or a decisive victory actually matters for is Bretonia. Because it changes the amount of um, chivalry that you get. Again, not a big deal. Now, it doesn't really matter that much which map you get. But I think the map that we got here was actually the better one. Because there's uh, there's more tactical options here, but you just got to be careful of certain things about this map. Knowing the terrain is really important when you've got small armies. Okay, so we want to leave all the infantry here. Gamble for some more wins, probably get red. Oh no, how about that, I got some wins. Okay, and we want to put the uh, Dark Rider over here. Okay, so here's the, the, the plan. These ones come up here and harass. This one uses the uh, the fiery breath. If it gets shot at, it's fine. It'll just regen, and you keep falling back. We want to draw them around this way and then back up here. Do not run down here. You can't run up this way, and there's obstructions over there. So be very careful with that. And what uh, we do with this is bring it out. They'll probably just stand one unit to chase after it. They'll never catch us because they've just got all infantry. No big deal. But ideally, two of the Corsair Hambos will move up to here, and they'll easily lose to the dark shots but they'll probably also send the general up here which uh, you send them to deal with all right let's just fight the battle and see how it goes now if you if you've got your um, assassin with you and they attack you then have the assassin come here and just lure another unit away it'll just make this bit a little bit easier okay that's it now if you start off with low winds of magic you can use the power of darkness on the war hydra but the thing is um, the recharge rate for Melkoth Mystifying Miasma is actually slower than what we're going to regenerate Winds of Magic, so you don't actually ever need to do it in this battle. All you end up doing is just using up more Winds of Magic, and it's the only spell we've got, so I can't really cast anything else. Now, we want to prioritize using Fiery Breath on the biggest cluster on th of them, or the highest value. The highest value unit is definitely the Black Art Corsairs. Now, any unit behind them will probably get shot as well. There we go, move back. I want to be using the Melkoth Mystifying Miasmas on the Black Art Corsairs because they're actually going to be faster than us and Melkoth slows them down a little bit. So they'll see this now and they'll start sending unit over there soon. And we just run back so that we, you know, waiting for this to recharge. Ideally, try not to let Marathi take too much damage. But it can be a little bit difficult because we did get caught in Force March. If anyone's going to get shot, let the Hydra get shot. Because it can regen. Marathi can regen later, but not right now. Come on, I need you to get your attention over here. Put that one on guard mode. That's it. Alright, they're starting to pay attention over here now. Alright, they're not doing exactly what I wanted, but that's fine. That's fine. They're only sending two units over here. That's not too bad. Ideally, it would be good if there was more. Let's come around this way here. Actually, sending two after this one. I only expect them to send one. Keep using Melkoth on this one here so it doesn't catch us. Um, the forces that we've got here should easily be able to handle these four guys. Okay, now they're sending some more of this way. See, like I said, we're regenerating magic even without using the power of darkness. Okay, and let's let's really put the smack down the black art corsairs. I'm not too concerned about the handbows. Oops, got a bit caught there. No big deal. Let's move it back. Okay. 
Now, what I want this one to do is soon, but not yet, join these guys and hit them in the rear. But yeah, don't let Marathi get caught by these Black Art Corsairs, because they'll kill her. That's why we got to keep the Hydra close by. To do that, just whenever they get a little bit close. It can be a little bit difficult to keep your eye on that one. But uh, just try to remind yourself to do it. Okay, now this one here needs to come around to rejoin with these ones because it needs its support. So that's it, you come around over here. Okay, keep moving back. Just lure them away. Okay, really want to be focusing on the Black Art Corsa Hambos and charge on in now. Now, it's really important that you don't take too much damage on these three units here. I know that they're not necessarily good units, well, at least the Dread Spears. But we really need them for a uh, battle that's happening in a, a turn or two from now. So I'm just having them run back now. I'm not too concerned about using Melkov. It happens, it happens. Okay, good. They're pinned down. Let's move around the side. Have that one chase us over here. Run that one down. I do not want to... Fight that again next turn. That's another thing that's really important. Try to make sure we wipe out as many units as possible because they do have a tendency of force marching back to the city and getting a decent amount of recovery. So what I was trying to do with the Witch Elves is get this one's attention, draw it away. Okay, that unit of... Black Arc says, okay, that's dead. It's not coming back. Try to keep the... Uh... Okay, you should be able to charge into there. Try to, try to keep every unit as healthy as possible, including the Hydra, because we're not going to get any replenishment over the end turn. Shit, the camera's a pain in the ass. Don't worry about it shooting out. Don't, don't send it back. We don't need to. Keep moving that one back. Yeah, we broke all of them. Taking a bit of damage there, but it'll run out of ammo soon. Don't engage with it. Especially with murderous prowess active. Okay, another unit's coming in through here soon. Get ready to shoot that. Okay, it would be good if that Dread Spear unit would die, but more, much more concerned about the Black Art Corsairs being wiped out. That's way more important. Okay, all good over there. This is why this map's good, because they have to walk through water here. It slows them down a little bit. And this one is not going to arrive in time. That's a dead unit. Now it's wiped out. Okay, and there's the army losses. Okay, now we don't necessarily want to kill this lord here. Because it's very unlikely you're going to actually wipe out the army entirely. And if you get her down really low in health, that's better than them just replacing it with somebody else. Okay, let's chase after this. Lured them too far away. Yeah, okay. I need you to come over here. Just do it. Oh, I'm not going to manage it. Actually, you turn around there. Just do a bit of damage. Yeah, I think I've wiped out every unit I'm going to. Yeah, that's wiped out. And that's wiped out. Okay. 
Every kill counts here. Alright, cool, that'll have to do. Good, we got a decisive victory. That'll be worth a lot of experience. Hence why, do not auto resolve this battle. But yeah, it would have been good if we could have wiped that one out. The damage on the Hydra is pretty minimum, minimal because, you know, it was regenerating the whole time. One of the reasons why I didn't want to engage with the other units is actually I didn't want the army losses to trigger early because I wanted to wipe them out a bit more. Okay, now it's really important. Go with Enslave. We need to do this three times because we want to do the right for three uh, for um, Dark Conduit. Um, that'll make things easier. And doing it in the early stages of the campaign is very good, so definitely Enslave. It also gives us replenishment, so that's very useful. Now, hopefully they don't force much down there, but usually they do. Yeah. So if they don't do that, you're very lucky because you can get two battles out of them that way. Cool. We want to get the Amber Amulet as quickly as possible. The, the fastest way to get that is to get to Hakadi's Blessing. So we need to get a minimum to to rank 6. Um, if we save up the rank 5 skill point, we can go straight to the First Sorceress. Um, so that we can get the Amber Amulet. Because it's really useful for Marathi, especially considering how many battles she's going to have to do. Now this first turn here, I'd recommend going Melkoth, Mystifying Miasma. Because we don't need Root Marcher. And we're going to get another battle anyway, so it gives experience. We saw that their army went to Sildra Tor. We want to take them out there. That's where we're going. And this time, we can attach him because they can't escape us. Now, we're going to sack and occupy the settlement. Really important because that, I think, counts as a uh, enslavement. And we want to get this as quickly as possible because it's very useful. Not only do we get more income from post-battle loot, but just more replenishment rate just, just helps us out immensely. And I'm not too concerned about slave decline rate well, when you've barely came. got any for, for the first place. Okay, Guidance so came. just check diplomacy every here and there. You to treat with us so that's good. Me. Gets things started. Yeah, just, just do that. Don't okay, I'll get the uh, non-aggression pact and just take some money out of them. Indeed. We'll get the military access a bit later. Cruel I do not like your present. Lord, I'm sure Just check your things. Alright, so with the bleak holds, sometimes, very, very rarely, you can offer to go to war with them to appease um, Nagareth. But we should just check. My patience wears thin. They might actually accept it here. Hmm. Because there, yeah, these guys will not get past here. No, I don't want to do that. Because honestly, we should try to take out Nagareth as quickly as possible. I'm just saying that's an, that's an option. But I don't think it's worth doing. Um, Alright, let's get on with... Oh, hang on, hang on. We should have met Hexawaddle and Diplomacy. Getting a non-aggression pack with them would be good. I'd much rather just focus on the High Elves. Okay, sometimes you can get the, them to join war um, to not aggression pact if you join war against them. No, okay. I wouldn't do anything more than that. If it wouldn't, uh, if they don't accept that, just forget about it. Okay, once again, has to be fought manually. Ugh, that's bad luck. <laughs> that's very, that's basically the worst thing that can happen. Um, yeah, the region went to calm winds of magic. That is so bad. <laughs> but, oh well. That's in incredibly unlucky. So yeah, and on turn two, um, the winds of magic uh, shift around. Ideally, you want tempestuous, but eh? sometimes you get lucky, sometimes you don't. We'll still be able to manage even without it. Um, it won't last forever, but oh, that's that's so bad when that happens. Okay. So we're going to want to do a pretty similar thing that we did in the previous battle, except now we've got an additional unit to come and help us out with. Derping them around. And now this time, it's really important that we don't cast right away. Because as soon as I start casting, I'm going to run out of Winds of Magic. Because, yeah, so depleted. I could use this. Oh, but, yeah, then I'll have, like, next to no reserves. Let's 
So yeah, it would have been better if this one here was a bit damaged. We just didn't damage her enough in the previous battle. Okay, I'm going to go straight for the Dark Shards there, because high value unit. Good, was hoping to get a few more kills, but didn't quite get it. That's okay. Of the true king. At least this time we're not on Force March. I'm not going to cast anything until we hit 30 wins of magic. Behold my fury. Okay, I'm going to stand a bit further back. I want a bit more time because, yeah, we got very unlucky with that one. Once again, I got caught there. Could put them on skirmish mode, but I, I find skirmish mode to be so unreliable that I'd rather get caught every now and again than use skirmish mode. Anyway, that's nothing more than a distraction. Obviously, it would be better if I didn't get caught. Same with thing as this one here. Get a few kills. But it's really important that these three units here don't take much damage. You'll understand why next turn. Why isn't he casting? Yeah, as soon as we cast one spell, our Winds of Magic generation rate is going to shit. Okay. Move a bit more over this way. Just want to avoid them by myself as much time as possible. I'm not trying to waste this one's ammo, because it's just not going to happen anyway. Let's go for that. Hopefully we get a bunch of damage. Yeah, I was hoping to hit that one as well, but it didn't happen. Come on, come on. Almost. Oh, I got a tiny little bit of damage there. Not, nothing major, though. Okay, we're at 30 wins of magic. Now it's the start casting. Okay, let's start taking pot shots over here. But yeah, we really want to take minimal damage. Really, really important. Sometimes you're just not going to do it and you can take a little bit of damage, but just do the best you can. Because, yeah, look at that. It, it doubled our uh, recharge rate. So it's not good. Okay, move this one back over this way because we want to harass them a bit more. Stay away from those missile units. Alright, I'm going to have Marathi deal with the Dark Shard there. And this will end our recharge rate. <laughs> that's that's why it was so unlucky. Can't get over here. On the move. Going. So that one's getting a few kills here and there. Dark shot. You want to be uh, aiming for the square formations, even if it is a uh, smaller unit, because we're gonna hit more of them that way. But reinforcements are on the way. Okay, now this one's out of breath attacks. Oh, shit. Couldn't quite make it. Send it in there. We want to get rid of their missile units. Okay, yeah. Don't want these guys getting killed either. Put them back. And just try to harass their missile units as best we can. Maybe best to shoot the Black Art Corsair Handbows. Because they can harass the uh, Dark Shards. Could use this, but... I'm not, I'm not gonna. That's it, just harass them as much as possible so they're not shooting. So okay, Marathi takes a little bit of damage now. But ideally we don't want these ones taking much damage at all, because I need them for the next fight that's going to happen. Just wish I had more magic. Come on, break him. Good 
Great, that was bad timing. I'm gonna move it here because we can break that one now. Cycle charge into it. Charging it again. Oh, hang up. We got we got incoming over here. The only thing about these guys is that they don't fire while moving. Okay, we got one last cast. And let's just get rid of this one here so I can free up those units. And yeah, because this one chased after us for so long, it just uh, it screwed them up for such a long time there. Come on, army losses should be any moment now. Okay, try to lure this one away. We're just not doing enough damage. I'm, I'm taking too much. We are ready. Dark shots. No survivors. Dark. Yeah, I got no more recharge, right? Great spears. Moving out. Death awaits. Dark shots. Okay, I think the army losses is coming real soon. Sometimes the Hydra actually loses against her, just because of the battle cheats that they get. Okay, there we go, there's the army losses. Bit of damage, but we'll recover a fair bit over the end turn. Another decisive victory, that's very important. Don't get those Pyrrhic victories. Damage was reasonably spread out. So yeah, it would have been a lot easier if... Um, we actually had 60 reserves, so we got very unlucky with that. That makes a big difference. Because I could have been casting earlier because I wouldn't have worried about our reserves. Observe me. Observe okay, we want to sack it. And you've got more than enough movement to occupy it as well. It's just really important that we get these enslaves done, so sacking it counts towards that. And then just regular occupy there. A would be traitor amongst us. Okay, now after doing that, I'd recommend a point into Root Marcher. Okay, then we I want to start recruiting sword. some Dark Shards and also I recruit a new Lord. So, it's ideal if you get someone that's fleet-footed for what we want to be doing. Um, but they don't have to be. Lore of Fire is usually ideal, just because it's such a good lore of magic, so... Yeah, I'm going to go with that. Yeah, I'll go with this. Cool, give her high loyalty. And just uh, keep her there for the turn. We're going to use her next turn. She's going to capture Iron Spike. Okay. Anarian's Bride. And, yeah, yeah, okay. That's all I think we need to do. Let's just check diplomacy, see if there's anything else we can do. What motive brings you to so I'm going to get that military alliance as soon as possible. They're willing to have peace, but if you do that, you'll, um, you'll lose reliability. So you'd really need that reliability, so don't do that. Okay, that's all fine there. Yeah, probably not going to get any more money out of them. Could offer a little bit to them, but honestly, maybe later down the track. If they survive, we'll see. Okay. That's all we need to do. Let's move on. So yeah, it is possible to get a non-aggression pact with uh, Nagareth, but I don't recommend it. I want to, I want to take them out kind of early.
Okay. So, she's not going to be good enough to take on that garrison by herself. So, she's going to have to pick up a few troops. So, she's going to take the assassin, these ones here, and that one. This is why I didn't want them taking that much damage. Because I need them in this fight here. But honestly, what we've got here should be sufficient. Okay. And then move in. We should have enough movement to sack and occupy the settlement. And Marathi moves to right there. And recruits regular Dark Shards with shields. Well, I guess Dark Shards, but whatever. And also, we can recruit two of these heroes. Yep. Actually, cancel that. Because I need to demolish this. We keep this barracks so that we can recruit the Dark Shards. While Dark Shards with shields are definitely better, we don't need them. And I need another building to be built here. Lickety bloody split. It needs to be done right away. Okay. So it says close to feet, but honestly, I can win this battle. It's not difficult, but you just gotta... You gotta put in some effort, okay? It's very important that we do this battle here. Because this, this army is needed. Because before too long, Tyrannok is going to show up at um, Monument of the Moon or whatever it is. And yeah, we're going we're gonna to need them. Okay, so these ones here, just hide them to begin with. Because we don't have missile superiority in this battle, we can actually waste their Dark Shard's ammo. Yeah, I bet I thought you said you wouldn't choose exploits. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, whatever. You know, if you, if you don't want to do this, you don't have to do it to win the battle, but... Considering that he stripped me of all my winds of magic, yeah, I'm going to strip them of their ammunition. So, very easy to do this. And it'll just make the next bit a lot easier. Because we're also outnumbered. But yeah, you, you totally don't have to do this, but if you don't do it, you will take more damage. And... You know, your army will just keep getting weaker and weaker the more lenient you are towards the AI. And it doesn't take long, we're almost out. It doesn't actually take a little bit of damage because they're not going to get her again. This is where Fleet Footed would have been more useful, but at the same time, um, I really wanted a Fire Wizard. Like, if I got a, sh a fleet-footed shadow wizard, that would have been fine. But it's really important, don't get a death wizard and don't get a beast wizard. Because they don't have a... Well, um... The beast wizard doesn't start off with Flock of Doom. Let's I don't think it does. Maybe it does. Can't remember, actually. Hmm. I need to double-check that. If it starts with Flock of Doom, then it's fine. Um, but yeah, I just can't remember. Alright, now... I'm not gonna get much magic regen, so... Okay, come round over this side. We want to make sure our cast do the best that they possibly can, because it's just not going to get that many of them. So yeah, she should be faster. Yeah, she's faster than all their units. Now, fireballs are best done. I don't want him shooting. Shooting sideways through a unit. So what I'm doing here is showing them three units. No, oh shit, I, I goofed it. <laughs> I goofed it. Then give the basil. I forgot to turn that one on fire at will. Nope, not a big deal. But uh, I should have done that. Just trying to get the most out of it, that's all. Alright, now ideally we don't want this guy shooting into shields, so we've drawn some of them away. But just double back to go after the ones that are going after the Lord, because this guy here is never going to get caught. And what we want to do here, before we use the melee infantry, which we will definitely have to, we want to uh, thin them out as much as possible, especially the melee infantry. We don't really need to worry too much about the uh, the dark shards now, obviously. But, you know, the AI is not completely stupid. They will turn around so that uh, their shields are active. Every now and again, at least sometimes, you might just get a shot into their backs, which is ideal. Out. And them. 
And yeah, we're out of recharge right? which sucks. So much balls. But, you know, that's what happens. Yeah. Do not let her get caught. It's not the end of the world if we lose this battle, but it does ruin the plans a little bit. They're actually kind of catching up to because he's I think she's getting tired faster than they are So just feigning a charge in there helps a lot gives us some time to get away Okay, just want to get them to stop it. They really want to get my lord there, but we're getting away. Another great thing about doing it this way is um, all of their forces are getting tired while these ones here aren't. Mm. Yeah, it may have been better to get the fleet-footed one. Because there's no way they can catch a fleet-footed one. 20% extra speed makes a huge difference. And every bit of damage that she's taking is going to make it harder for us to get the army losses. But yeah, this one's relentless. Absolutely does not want to let her get away. Okay, I definitely need a bit more distance before I cast the next fireball. So, he's getting a bit of damage in there. I don't expect that much out of him. We'll get, eventually get a chance to cast those fireballs, and we're not getting any more regen. Another reason why is that calm magic really fucking sucks for us. Okay, if we can get this one distracted, just for a few seconds I'll cast a fireball. Okay, there we go. This one here has done a decent amount of damage. That's good. I'll start bringing these out now because they should be able to handle these units here quite easily. Because they're all tired. And the Witch Elves make a, uh, a good use of it with this one here. Lowers their melee defense by a fair bit. So yeah, it would have been annoying if we also had to be dodging the uh, the dark shards right now. I got one more shot left. Now, if they had half a brain, they'd get all their forces together and attack this together. But I'm counting on them not to do that, so we can take them out one at a time. Alright, seems like this wants to come over here. That's fine. Let's let him. Okay. Oh, shit. Um, this one here needs help. This one. Okay, he ran out of ammo. Just keep him busy. So about to break this one. One next. Eager for battle. Onward. Make them bleed. Red spears. Advancing. 
to destruction. Terror and death. On to slaughter. Merciless warriors. I'd like to cast out the fireball, but that one's just being relentless right now. Just wanted to buy them a little bit more time there. These guys have actually proven to be very helpful in this battle. I went way too wide there, but we should break them before they get here. Actually, you just charge into this so don't come back. Okay, here comes our last fireball. It's not going to do a ton, but it's better than nothing. And I'm not going to charge into here because they actually lose to Dark Shards. On this difficulty. I am dead. Dealers in death. The merciless host. Okay, rear charging the one might just break him. Good victories in our grasp. Let's just try to keep our casualties as much as possible to a minimum. Moving out. Nagarotti. Red spears. Slay them. Okay, army losses really should be any moment now. There we go. Alright, casualties were pretty minimal, despite our low winds of magic. And close victory, that's fine. Decisive or close, same amount of experience. So yeah, we want to sack that. I want this place searched. Now, if you want, you can just leave it sacked and just force march back here for the turn and then sack it again next turn. Um, that's totally fine. But I really want to get this province growing quickly, so I'm going to occupy it. Um, get rid of this. I want to build the, uh, the growth building. Just leave that one damaged. It's fine. Master Druki. Okay. Of the dark and this one here, give her route march. She needs to move around a lot. A would -be traitor amongst us. Now, Marathi's already recruiting in the province, so I can't expect any more recruits Johnson from the them. Party. Okay, eventually there's going to be a revolt happening over here. We could... Um, uh, we could repair these to slow it down, but I don't really want to do that. Honestly, looting and occupying that settlement there could also work. Okay, now that we've done that, we can finally do the sacrifice to Cain. So yeah, we did the enslave three times. Now, the thing is, we want to do this quickly, because the next thing I want to do is the sacrifice to Mathlan. Which is why we're demolishing this, because we want to build this building, because none of the other settlements are at Tier 2, because we need to build that in order to get a Black Ark. And we don't need to capture this until we've done that right. And I don't expect to take it for another five turns. I In fact, I expect rivals. to take it off Tyrannoc, uh, not... Um, oh, yeah, the Moonshard, not Monument of the Moon. Uh, not uh, Sildra Tor. Okay, check diplomacy again, see if we can get any agreements. Okay, cool, we can get a military alliance. Um, let's try for that. Cool. The whole purpose of that was just so that we would meet... What brings you before the Lord of the Our Black Tower? Waking. Oh, bastard son. Okay, offer to join war against Clan Septic. I accept. Cool, because he'll take that out. And just start bringing in relations. I if we can get him to join peace. war against Sildred Tor, no. Black what about Tyrannoch? No, good. okay, that's fine. So yeah, he's at war with... Uh, sorry, sorry, yeah, he's at war with Clan Septic, but nobody else. Okay, that's fine. But yeah, at least we've made relations with him now. It seems unlikely that he would declare war on Clark Arant. Could happen, but it seems unlikely. But yeah, if um, if 10 turns passes, I'll just cancel all my agreements with them. They've, ne they've now served their purpose. In fact, now what we can do with them is confederate them. Hmm. Hmm. That's unusual. Is that what we want to do? Let me let me think about that. I have 
That wasn't part of the plan, but sometimes you got to be ready for these sort of things. Let me have a look here. Hmm, I could be friends with you. It'll cause a revolt over here faster, which is kind of what I want. I think I can make this work. I mean, this is supposed to be a, like a reliable way of doing it. Hey, you know, maybe... Okay, like I said, it wasn't part of the plan, but shit, that's good. Let's get that. Okay, actually, before before we do that, um, give me some money. Okay, I reckon I'm only going to get 300. No, not even that. Okay, um... Let's do it. Because, yeah, they've got one full province in here. I never went to war with them. Clan Septic is up this way, which they might end up capturing this, but still, getting this province here early can be really useful. No. Sneaky. Alright, I'll just take the 600. Okay, and before anybody else has done anything, uh, they've already... They already don't like us. Uh, let's have a look here. We've met Hag Grief as well, which... Ready. Yeah. Okay, that's actually a problem, because he could declare war on us. <laughs> so... Oh, he's got rightly suspicious. That's a problem. That's a problem. Um, <laughs> Malagath might... Might be forced to... We need to get... We need to get an alliance with him, like, straight away. Because if he's, he's, if we get a defensive alliance with him, he'll side with, with us, Very well. over Hagrif. So yeah, relations coming in real quick there. I don't need the money for anything else, so just chuck it in there. And let's have a look at this province. We definitely need to disband this army. Luckily, she's got good relations. Uh, it will probably revolt. <laughs> okay, so yeah, get. Hey, more masters. Um, no, I think we've got enough for now. Get rid of this. Because, yeah, we haven't got rid of that yet. Could get another one. Fuck it, let's do it. The buildings are crumbling. Why not? Get rid of this. Get rid of that. Oh, well, that's... I mean, that's a good building, normally, but um, not right now. Uh, keep that... Put down, hang on, which is the edict for this one? Demand highborn hostages. Okay, yeah, I don't want a revolt to occur here because I can't build walls there yet. Uh, we also want to be pretty friendly with the Slaughterhorn tribe. Oh, hang on. All of these guys out here, they could potentially give me money <laughs> if they like me enough. Uh, problem is I'm running very low on money now. Okay, and, um, hang on, hang on, hang on. Die will inflict such Sometimes these early confederations can really backfire on you. So just be careful about that. Speak. Just seeing what we can get. Pretty much nothing. Oh, hang on, that's something. I doubt I could be able to get any money out of her. I have been relishing the doom I have planned for you. Alright, it's not that bad. And plus, he's busy. But he, he can do it. He can do it. Okay, we, we absolutely have to get rid of this. So, it definitely would be better if we had a coastal province. But just... Okay, we're fine there. Cool, that we're back in money. And it's making us a whole 589. Oh yeah, lack of corruption. Yeah, so we're going to need to keep that there. Okay, so if I'm going to try to get money out of anyone, let's try to get it out of um, out of him. Make him kind of like us, so that we can extort money out of him in a bit. All right, cool. Let's move on to the next turn. So yeah, 
holding on to that. It doesn't matter if it falls apart. But, meh, it was available to us. And we stripped the area of all of its money, so if we end up losing it right away, not a big deal. So time. The worst thing about it, though, if, um, like, Hag Grief declares war on us and drags Nagarond in, that does ruin the plans a bit. Um, no, don't do that. Which, that didn't happen. You've got a certain amount of time before, before that'll happen. Your prestige grows, my lord. News of your conquests spreads yeah, we've got to get an alliance going your with him quickly. Is noted by even the most distant of kings and bestial lords. Yeah, defensive alliance with him. Otherwise, he'll declare war on them. Um, and as for for this one, could you give me some money? No, not yet. I need to give you more money first. Make him like us. And then he'll give it all back. Okay. And also not to play war on me, which is really important. Okay, now there's going to be a revolt over here fairly soon. So we got to skedaddle over there real quick. It's unlikely that... Um, that he's going to declare war on us, especially considering his army is here. Yeah, it seems unlikely. Okay, and... We Bastards want to just sack this settlement here. It's a good way to get some loot going. Oh, they gave us some money from just anything. Ah, oh, look, it was recruited. It's okay, we can easily win this. Now, um, Tyrannoch will show up here around turn... Oh, turn 8. So, you definitely want to be ready for that. So I need the other army to be back by then. Okay, I'll keep them down there. Just uh, bring these two up here. And we're still absolutely bleeding Winds of Magic, but that's okay. That's a kind of a shit item. Oh no, it did give us five extra Winds of Magic though, so that helps. Alright, really want to be aiming for the Black Art Corsair handbows. Okay, and these here, just move back to about there. Usually I go sit on that hill there, but uh, I don't want to do that this time. As in when I'm usually on this map, regardless of what faction. But in this situation, I didn't want to. Now, I don't really want to try to waste their ammo because it's difficult to waste the ammo of Black Art Corsair handbows. But, if they're just standing still, let them. And also, we've got Dark Conduit, which is going to make a big difference. If we're going to do it with anyone, we should do it with the Hydra, because at least the Hydra can regen. But we should do it after... Let's hold off for now. Let's use the uh, the breath attack one more time first, and then use the dark conduit. Okay, that was good. Okay, charge in there. Should be fine. It <laughs> should be. Let's see. This is for the dark conduit. And really get stuck in there. Oh yeah, cast on your own units, that works for me. Cool, it might route, but we just killed like three units there. Okay, uh, they'll discover our archers in a bit. You, you just run off now, you've more than done your worth. Problem with it breaking is that I can't dodge, but it'll, it'll survive. Let's move up to here now. Bit of rally. No point using this. I'm not going to do anything. Alright. 
Yep, you just run out that way. Some guys will chase you, but I just want you to recover as much as possible. Go, go, go. And they're gonna discover our archers and come down here and attack it and get shredded. So we'll soften them up plenty now. Bad timing. Oh, actually, it could be good timing because we're about to get it as well. So I'll get Marathi to use the Dark Conduit in a moment. We just. Right, that one, that would be good. Actually, let's get you to do it again. Get in there. Destruction comes. Okay, just take out this dread spear and charge into them. Okay, army losses should be any moment now. Didn't need to use checkerboard in this situation. Marathi. By your command, at once. There we go. All right, it might be a good idea to let the uh, the Hydra heal a little bit before we hit end battle. Okay. Oh, honestly, it'll be fine. We're probably not going to have any f serious. F oh, just healed a bunch anyway. Yeah, it'll be fine. Because we got dark conduit, so they're going to get twenty percent extra replenishment. Because I'm going to force march back into my own province. At least I think I will. Depends on how much movement we got left. Usually we do, but sometimes when you sack the settlement, you go off in a weird way. Know me and yeah, that's fine. We'll be able to force march back. Good, Mother and then... Swing back over Fly. here and attach them. They were not going to be able to make it to the My battle time. and come back. Just wait. This is real military Didn't attach fight. them until now. Master Druki, I've skills to show. Okay, we're at rank four. So we can spend this point, but the next level up, we don't spend it so that we can go straight to the first sorceress. Okay, we have two turns until a revolt here. That's what we want. And we want to build that and growth. The hag sorceress. Okay, out here. We've got a ton of money. Uh, we should definitely focus on not having a revolt, which... Um, yeah, we're going to need to build a few of these. Just build growth. Actually, I need money. Don't worry about growing this province. Can't trade with them yet until we take the moon shard, which I'll take soon, just not yet. Right, relations going to 104. We need that defensive alliance like right away. My path. I fear no black axe. Yeah, once he's defeated all this stuff, he'll he'll probably declare war unless we've got the non-aggression pact with um with Malekith. No, not sorry, not non aggression pact. Defensive alliance. Um, Bandying words with you will not please my lord. Okay, we could also use a defensive alliance with Hellebron, Very well. since she likes us a fair bit as well. Fine. Dark lord. Sending a few payments problem. around just to make sure they Bloody don't declare war on us would be good. Cruel. My time and Since it's short, relatively cheap at the moment, we've got a lot of money. Sorry about Gron, they've got their hands full. 
Master of cruelty. And there's a dog. I cut you down in an instant, so speak okay. As long as they don't have the rightly suspicious, we'll get plenty of um, relation from that. Don't worry about this one. If they declare war, who cares? They're, they're, they've got their hands full. Um... Let's see, Ripperhorn Tribe. I got it from the Shadow Gore Warherd. This one here. Or that one. Maybe this one. I'll give it some payments. In just the hope that we can get like two grand out of it. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. And I'll try it from them as well. <laughs> so, it's a bit of a gamble with them. Nah, nah, forget about that one. We already, we already extorted that one. Try one more gift to him. Okay. Cool, I still got four grand left. Alright, I don't think we need to do any recruiting this turn. Actually, we can't because we got in Force March. Okay, cool, moving on to the next turn. We've already done a lot by turn four. <laughs> now, I reckon if, um, still, uh, what's it called? Karen Carr, Clark Arond, whichever, um, they had rightly suspicious we probably wouldn't have got that confederation in fact i wasn't expecting to get the military alliance so soon and ultimately getting a confederation with them or not does not really change what my plans are in fact it actually kind of makes my plans more difficult but it provides me with a little bit of money and maybe maybe you can hold it but yeah, if you feel like you can't hold it, don't don't feel like you have to do that. It's not essential. Okay, over here. Okay, we're really close to a defensive alliance with him. I can't offer to join war any further. <laughs> so we just have to hope that uh, we don't get declared war on until the turn after. Okay, there's going to be a revolt this turn. We need to be ready for that. So you come stand over here and need to recruit three Dark Shards. And you continue to pummel down on this because we need those levels up. There's Tyrannoch. Chances are they won't capture it next turn, but they might. And if they do that... That kind of sucks because I really want to get the other thing first, but it's not the end of the world. But yeah, come back to here. And we want to, of course, go ham on the growth here with them. Yeah, don't spend this point. Okay, we'll probably be in the red a little bit this turn, this coming turn, so really important not to... Um, not to, you know, spend too much. This should be more than enough to take out the, the Chaos Forces that show up here. In fact, we might be able to justify getting rid of the Dread Spears. Yeah, because uh, they'll have eight units. Can I beat it with seven? Well, we got low winds and magic. I'll get rid of one. Okay, just be careful about her loyalty. Okay, pop that down. And in fact, let me just see if I can get some money out of him. Cool, what about you? I have little time or luck. Okay, let's see. You wanna give me some money? Yes, they do. Boom! Good, okay. That's what we wanted to do. You wanna give me some money? Not yet, maybe next turn. Uh, what about you? You wanna give me some... No, I doubt it. Let me just check. No, maybe next turn. And you... No. Okay. But that's good. We got two grand out of him. Okay. And I'll just hold on to it. Yeah, just try to hold on to the public order here. Three turns until the revolt, but with two extra... Four extra public order coming in. And the chaos corruption's going up really quickly. Why not just turn off taxes? Yeah, good idea, bro. Okay. And let's move on to the next turn. So, fingers crossed that uh, Tyrannoch doesn't attack it. Usually they just sit up right in front of it first, but we'll see. So...
I think their turn's passed. I don't think they attacked it. They're probably just sitting right outside. They'll attack it the next turn, which is fine. Either that or they're sitting there, which I don't think they are. Oh, that was a stroke of luck. That'll maybe just... Oh, but then we're getting raided. Because uh, the Confederation... Oh, actually, once that minus eight is gone, we might actually just be able to prevent that revolt from occurring. Maybe, maybe just. Uh, we could also get rid of this and build a public order building. If we upgrade this, it's worth extra two. Hmm. Think about it. Okay, how about that defensive alliance? Yeah. It should have happened this turn, but it didn't. How about you? I have rights to lead. No, you pay me a bit more than that. Mm, I don't want military alliances. I'll, I'll take the 200 gold then. Understood. Defensive alliance yes, fine, military alliance bad. No. Could offer him a little bit more money. Yeah, it should be fine. Well. He still hasn't taken any of Clan Septic's territory. They might actually come after me if this keeps up. You know, anti player bias and everything. Actually, let me check something. The chopper is in my hand. So. Let me just check if they're trespassing. The chopper is in my they're not. Okay, if they're not trespassing so through here, then they're, they're staying where they are. The Clan Septic is usually very passive. Alright, now just to. Don't commit fully to this. Okay, good. They're out on the water, which means they can't possibly get to us. All right, we ooh, we might actually not have enough experience to get to rank six. Oh well. Water resolve is fine. Second. Yeah, I didn't quite have enough, which means we need to fight one more battle before we can get the amber amulet, which is. Very good, but we don't have to get it right now. Okay, move it back there. Let well. them capture it. What do you seek? This one is capable enough. A would-be traitor amongst us. A terror to their enemies. Would be good if this guy here could go away, because I need to set up an ambush for for this. No. Okay, so we need to fight this here now and basically unite our forces to go take them out. Um, looking at other things. I wish he wouldn't raid us. Could you? Could you not? I mean, he did give us a bunch of money, but still, just could you just not? <laughs> Whatever, it's fine. All right, let's go deal with this. We don't want to order resolve it. Very easy fight, but order resolve is stupid. At least they didn't get a um, hell cannon. Now, here's the thing. If you keep the barracks, usually the garris the um, the rebellion that shows up is a bit stronger and usually has a hell cannon. So that's why you want to build the barracks up to tier two, recruit the masters, and then demolish it, so that um, the the rebellion here is a lot easier. Okay. They're not going to sit around, but if I cast any spells, we are not going to get any more regen. What kind of lore did they get? Okay. Casting fireball on him is not great because he's got loads of um, armor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've got Dark Conduit. Um, yeah, I think we should get him to do it. Yep. Cool. If we can take out two of their units right away, that's awesome. And even if he's exhausted, he can get away from them really quickly. Good. That was well worth it. Let's get the cast in because the battle's probably not going to last too long. 
He's also there wins, but that's fine. Definitely focus on the Marauder Horsemen first. Yeah, if we can lure this guy away, that'd be good. Bring this guy back around to come and help. Oh, got caught over there. We're okay. Alright, I really didn't want this guy coming into melee, but... Can't do anything about it now. Ugh, which elves are getting bloody shredded there. fighting that. Okay, you move back. Yeah, you keep shooting this. Okay, so far so good, I think. Yeah, shouldn't do these here. Come on, which I'll stay out of it. You're taking too much damage. They're coming back. Okay, just, um... Avoid melee with him, and let's, let's actually try to shoot him. Ah, oh, it doesn't matter, there's the army losses. But yeah, we should definitely try to kill him. I don't want to have this revolt last any more than this turn, because we need to deal with Tyrannoch. Cool. I think that went fairly well. We didn't take many casualties, but it was a bit lopsided on the Witch Elves, but it should be fine. Because this army needs to go and reinforce Marathi. For when we deal with Tyrannoch. Which I think we've got more than enough force to take them out. So at this point here, all the stuff that's happened in Marathi's territory is all fairly reliable. The only thing that was a bit random that happened was the, uh, the Winds of Magic shift. That sucked. But we still may do just fine. It just made it a little bit more difficult. But the only thing that was a little bit random is the Confederation. That doesn't have to happen. Alright, we should be able to order resolve the last of this. And there shouldn't be another revolt here for a couple of turns. Actually, actually, it might even be... Because, yeah, they're not coming over here right now. It might even be in our best interest to let this revolt stay here one more turn. Just to get an extra buffer of 20... Because we still got the Confederation penalty. We're just going to have another revolt almost straight away. Yeah, I think it might be best if I do that. So just stay there. And... They might attack us. I doubt it. Stay there. They won't be able to get around us. No. Because we want to get her down here. Okay, yeah. Don't spend that point. We need it. Okay. I could recruit... Let's see how many units we got. 13 plus... We, uh, if, I, if I get rid of this one here... And recruit two more Dark Shards. I'll be in the red, but only by a little bit. Okay. Um, public order over here. Yeah, okay. Let's upgrade those. Don't worry about Storag Core. If we're going to upgrade anything, it should be uh, Clark Carond. Don't spend too much. 
Okay, he doesn't want that defensive alliance this turn. Hopefully next turn. I, you know what? Let's give him one more gift. Let me check that. Yeah, one more gift. And uh, that we should be able to get that defensive alliance next turn. Okay, all that seems fine. So we'll be able to do the um, sacrifice to Mathland in two turns. Okay. Alright, let's move on. I've done everything that I can. Actually, let me just check with Hexawaddle. Sometimes you get a non-aggression pack with him for free. Not at the moment. Skeggy, just leave them be. Actually, can I get them to join war against Tyrannoc? No. Clan Nor. Nah, fuck them. Clan Rictus. Okay, that's good. I don't want to fight them. Don't want to find anyone up that way. Just focus on the high elves. Okay, and let's move on. So, the Moon Shard will definitely fall to Tyrannoc. Nah, definitely not. She declares one anyone we got a non-aggression pact with. It'd be very bad. The defensive alliance is there to prevent other people from declaring war on us. Okay, Soldier Tour is gone. I don't know what they're doing over here. So he still just wants to raid us, despite the fact that he likes us and I gave him money. Well, yeah, he did then give me money. Yep, so they've taken that. Okay, that's fine. Alright, so we can do the sacrifice to Mathlan, but you can't do a right every five turns, so... Well, it has to be five turn cooldown. Um, okay. Public order here. Ooh, we might only just make it. It'll largely depend if he buggers off. And, let's see. We got... Minus eight going away, due to events. Oh, hang on, they've also got this event here, but that lasts two turns. Um, so minus eight is going away, that's going to bring it down to minus three. And then we get four extra public order from these. So I should be at plus one next turn. Hmm. So it'd be great if he goes away. Then we can actually stabilize it. And also the corruption is getting better for us. Okay. I could bring Marathi up this way. So that she could get the, um, the experience that she needs to get to rank six. But it's more important that I have her in ambush dance over this coming turn. Oh, this guy here is still there. That's actually a big problem. Because he has a high chance of detecting us because their turn goes first. That's really annoying that he's still here. Alright, well, we're going to get rid of this one here first. Ah, oh, look, I got that this time. Um, shouldn't be a problem, but we do need to fight it manually. Okay, the Hell Cannon is over here. I'm gonna set you up. Nope, can't do that. Do they have any cavalry? Only a little bit. Okay, so yep, you'll stay with them. You come over here. Because yeah, Marathi's army at the moment is probably not strong enough to take on Tyrannox's forces, which is why I need these guys to show up. Like now. Oh, are those warhounds? Okay. Limitless power. Um, a few fireballs could destroy the uh, the hell cannon. It'll take out pretty much all of my winds of magic. If I bring these guys over here, they're going to take way more damage. Usually takes about five, four to five fireballs to destroy a hell cannon. Like I said, it was so bad that this region got calm winds of magic. But yeah, taking out that hell cannon is very important, so let's do that. 
It'll probably trigger them to start coming at us. It's good they're not really firing at us at the moment. And that ends my recharge rate. Okay, so what, what I want to do here is take out the Chaos Warhounds with the Dark Conduit. Uh, do I? Yes, I do. Cool. Really fast unit that was uh, going to be a pain in the ass otherwise. Just need a few more fireballs, should take it out. Supreme sorceress. <laughs> Battle ready. They should be able to handle this, no problem. Seeking distraction. Do my bidding. Supreme sorceress. Good. Taking out the Hell Cannon, but using up pretty much all of our Winds of Magic was worth it. We are ready. Dark Rider crossbows. Supreme Yep, we got this. Alright, yeah, get rid of him when he gets in closer, just not yet. We might even walk out of this without any casualties. I don't think we've taken any so far. Oh, there we go, just took some. Good, their lord's going down. They'll have the army losses any moment now. Okay, I'm not too concerned about the Hell Cannon crew. But yeah, run down these other... Oh, god damn it. <laughs> the hell can it actually got a kill? Because yeah, we want to wipe him out this turn. But it would be good if we get one more battle. Always helps to have more experience. If we get her with Burning Head, that actually might make her a better spellcaster than Marathi for the coming fights. Alright, that'll do. Three casualties, close victory, but it doesn't matter, it's still worth the same amount as the decisive. And it seems like one unit got away, which is perfect, that's what we want. Because that way it's just an easy order resolve now. Ah, hear their screams. Uh, that ran off a bit further than I would have liked in kind of the wrong direction. But I still think I can make that work. Yeah, I still think I can make that work. Now, Marathi needs to actually move up to this position here and go into ambush stance. So we just have to hope that this one here doesn't detect us. There is a chance that they can do that. Because um, I want to use this one here as bait. But we also got to get rid of this revolt now. I will destroy them. Split. 
their throats. Good, I got enough movement. Alright, so pop it down here. Transfer all the units if we can. Except for that one, I guess. That's fine. And then move her. Yeah, I wanted to move a little bit closer so that uh, Tyrannoch can declare, uh, can, can actually attack us. They should still be able to, but we'll just have to wait and see there. Good. I am the first sorceress. But we should be able to strike them next turn, even if we don't ambush them from this position. Good. All right, money is pretty bad, but what are you gonna do? Alright, check diplomacy with this. Okay, cool. This will ensure that... Oh, that that'll be done automatically. Oh, hang on. Yeah, yeah. Good, this will make sure that no Dark Elves declare war on us. Okay, so... Our confederation with... With, uh... Clark Rond has not backfired at this stage. Yet you stand before the but we don't want a military alliance with him, because he might declare war on literally anybody. You can do that if you want to drag him into wars. Does he want a confederation? No, he might actually want it next turn. We'll see. We'll see. I don't think it's a good idea at this stage, because it'd be lots of enemies. Alright, let's move on. Okay, so there'll be a revolt here in a few turns. We'll capture this, though. Keep that there. Um... We don't really need the barracks here anymore. Because we've got enough troops. So, if we ever need to bring it back, just we, we could do it. So yeah, just go over there for growth. I want to get this to, I want to get this to tier 3 as quickly as possible. Okay. All good. All good. Um, we don't have any trade agreements yet, so don't bother upgrading this. Oh, uh, just provide some money. Still, I might end up losing it, so just leave it. Moving on. And let's hope that Tyrannoch makes the attack. But yeah, I might be just a little... Uh, no, they're not going to make the attack. Ambush was foiled. So yeah, that's an area where... Um, I know it can work. It just depends if that hero's there. If the hero's not there, the ambush won't get foiled. <laughs> but we should still be okay. What is dead should dead remain. Hmm. Uh... Nah. I'm bitten not to destroy you. Yeah, that's to be expected. I mean, it didn't cost us anything, and... You know, that happens. They're like, you had all that money, you gave it all around to everyone else, but not to me. Nope, fuck you. <laughs> stupid, stupid wood elves. Okay, yeah, they didn't make the attack, but we have just enough movement that we can actually launch the attack. And if we have a look here, they are sitting there. Definitely would have been better if we did ambush them, but we've got more than enough to win this. Okay, you can't order resolve it. I really really don't recommend taking it uh doing that now here's the thing it was really important that we capture this on turn eight because we can do the sacrifice to mathlan now as well as soon as we capture this we can get a black arc the black arc can launch the attack on arnheim so yeah control large army it's fine it's not that big of a deal that their reinforcements are coming in But with our masters here, we've got a good amount of crowd control. Honestly, those Illyrian Reavers aren't going to do much. The chariots might be a bit of a problem. Oh, yeah, it's this map. I hate this map. Um, that's fine. So, yeah, this is kind of like worst case scenario. Ideally for you guys, you would have ambushed them and just... They'd just be gone now. And then it's just an easy win inside here. Plus, you also would have gotten to rank 6. Yeah, I'll have to, uh, I really don't like this position very much. I hate this map. 
But, you know, it's a, it's a decent high ground. I'm going to take it. I'll, I'll have to re reform, though. Okay. Let's do this. So I'm going to double line it. We are ready. Moving out. And they're going to come rampaging straight for us, which is fine. So draw them in. Unfortunately, they actually outrange our dark shards by quite a bit. See, they got 140 range. We've got 125. But I think we can make this work. Okay, look at the mints. Give them easy bait. Okay, okay, it's having a little bit of a struggle here. We're okay, we're okay though. Kind of surprised they came charging in there. They actually took way more damage than we did. Trick is not to panic. We gave them some easy bait. We're luring them in. I don't want to lose this position here. You don't want to stand at the very top of the hill. That's it. Come on. Keep coming at me, bro. Don't want to cast anything just yet. Actually, if I could... Oh, my God. If I can get in there... I'll use Dark Conduit. I don't think they're going to let me in, so I'll use Breath Attack. Who are them in? So, they're massively dicking around. I'll just come in a little bit more. Maybe I'll just move back just a tiny little bit and then move forward again. That's it. Move in. Come on, just a bit more. These ones here are the toughest of what we need to deal with. Okay, now move forward. I need to get rid of them. I'd send someone in there to, like, dark conduit them, but at least they're blobbed up. Yeah, don't give attack orders, because then they'll, our guys will blob up, making the mistake that they're doing. Good, this is doing a ton of damage. Alright, now they'll probably send the rest of their army over here. Didn't want to spend any magic on it because I want to save it for their infantry because we can just get more utility out of that. This one here wants to stick around. Fine, actually, these ones here probably aren't going to reach. Let's go back up the hill. Okay. That was alright. They still got the range advantage. Alright, I really want to get a burning head on, on them. So if all goes well, I can get three of them on. On them. Uh, I'm not seeing any particularly good casts here at the moment. We definitely want to get them, especially on, on their archers. Try and lure them in. Come on, come on, come on. Give me that cast. There we go. That should do a decent amount of damage. If I had cast it a little bit earlier, it would have been better, but... Yeah, that was okay. Okay at best there. What happened here? 
village awaits. On to slaughter. Still haven't been able to get a dark conduit in. Ready. Ready. Master Moving out. Dark rider crossbows. Dark shards. What now? Okay, that's fine. Because, yeah, they're just going to get shot by the dark shards there. Yep. Okay, have that one hold the... Actually, there you go. There's your first dark conduit. And let's double up with this. Should've used the breath attack, but just hold them back now. That's way more important than using the breath attack. Let the uh, the dark shards do their job. You come up here just in case they yeah, like this one over here. Good, they're holding them back, that's what we want to see. And most of the dark shards are shooting, not all. Luckily, all the archers are shooting at the heroes, being quite inaccurate. Where to? Without question. Die, weaklings! Immediately! Advance! Looking. Good. Supreme sorcerer. Warrior. Okay, you move up a little bit. Get rid of that Tyranoc chariot shooting at you. Okay, I'd like this guy to use another breath attack. Uh, but he doesn't have any good shots at the moment. I need this guy to move back. Alright. Uh, actually, I don't think that'll generate any winds of magic at all. There we go. Now we're just waiting for the army losses. Yeah, send someone in that's a little less damaged. Oh, there we go. There's the army losses. Cool. Uh, that's not exactly the end of Tyranoc, but that's the end of their invasion here. They won't be coming back for, you know, at least two turns. And we still got max experience. So we're definitely going to get Marathi to tier 6 now, to level 6. Which means we can get her the Amber Amulet, and we can start recruiting wizards from all provinces. And a uh, Black Ark is coming, so ascends. don't think we've got enough move. Actually, we could sack it with Marathi and then occupy it with her, but let's just occupy it. it. Cool, all we'll worked out in the end, and replenishment rate's going to be pretty good. The next revolt, it says two turns, but I reckon it could hold off a little bit. So, I reckon their entire army is more or less over here. So we can recruit that and start preparing for our attack on Arnheim. We don't want to invade here just yet because all the High Elves will declare war on us. So I think this is a good place here to to end the guy. I mean, hour and 40 minutes into it. Um, so, you know, we, we thought of that invasion. We were not at war with Hexawaddle. We could get a non-aggression pact with them. We're poised to strike against them. All we gotta do is like transfer all of these units into the Admiral and then launch the attack next turn. Assuming assuming there's nothing there, I'll have to double check. Like I'd have to sail over there and check. If it, and just wait for them to leave. Eventually they're gonna go to Hag Hall, and when they do that, that's when you attack Arnheim. Once you've taken that out, they can't recruit any more um Shadow Walkers or Warriors. It's only a matter of time before he's finished. Take take Nagareth out as quickly as possible and then you know, the Ulth one is your oyster. So we've got a defensive alliance with with Nagarond, and here comes a trade agreement. And things are looking good all around. We've got plenty of money in the bank. I think that's a, that's a really good start. Now, there's definitely some things that, if you follow this exactly, probably won't go exactly... Um, 
as it did for me. So for example, the winds being calm, hopefully that doesn't happen for you because that sucked. That was really unlucky. Getting the confederation with this is neither unlucky or lucky. It's just a case of if you can manage it, do it. If not, totally didn't need to because the only reason I military allied with them was to meet uh, with um, with uh, with Nagarond, which we did, and we got a defensive alliance with them. If any of the High Elves declare war on us, he'll be dragged into it automatically. Same thing with... Oh, God, that's not good. <laughs> oh, that's not good at all. But whatever, it doesn't matter. Um, it doesn't matter that much. But yeah, I think that's a pretty strong start. Of course, the next five turns could go completely belly up, so you just gotta play it by ear. Anyway, I hope that helps you with your guide, uh, with your with your playthroughs of uh, Marathi here. Um, that's in this one. Appreciate you guys, and we'll see you next time, fuckers. Bye.